Hello guys, I am Len Clark with Remax Universal and I wanted to take a moment for this video to discuss credit score today. You know, when you're thinking about buying a home, your credit score is one of the biggest pieces of the puzzle. You know, think of it like your financial report card that lenders look at when trying to figure out if you qualify and which home loan will work best for you. You know, as the mortgage report says, good credit scores communicate to lenders that you have a track record for properly managing your debts. For this reason, the higher your score, the better chances you have of qualifying for a mortgage. Look, the trouble is most buyers overestimate the minimum score they need to buy a home. You know, according to a report from Fannie Mae, only 32% of consumers have a good idea of what lenders require. That means nearly two out of every three people do not. So here's a general ballpark, you know, to kind of give you a rough idea. You know, Experian says the minimum credit score needed to buy a house can range from 500 to 700, but will ultimately depend on the type of mortgage loan you're applying for and your lender. Most lenders require a minimum credit score of 620 to buy a house with a conventional mortgage. Basically, it varies. So even if your credit score is perfect, there are still options out there. FICO explains while many lenders use credit scores like FICO, scores to help them make lending decisions, each lender has its own strategy, including level of risks it finds acceptable. There is no single cutoff score used by all lenders, and there are many additional factors that many lenders will use. And if your credit score needs a little TLC, do not worry. Experience says there are some easy steps you can take to give it a boost, including number one, pay your bills on time. Lenders want to see that you can reliably pay your bills on time. This includes everything from credit cards, utilities, and cell phone bills. Consistent, consistent on time payments show you are a responsible borrower. Number two, Pay off your outstanding debt. You know, paying down what you owe can help lower your overall debt and make you less of a risk to lenders. Plus, it improves your credit utilization ratio. This is how much credit you're using compared to a total your total limit. A lower ratio means you're more reliable to lenders. And number three, don't apply for too much credit. While it might be tempting to open up more credit cards to build your score, it's best to hold off. You know, too many credit applications can lead to hard inquiries on your report, which can temporarily lower your score. So what does this all mean? Your credit score is crucial when buying a home. Even if your score isn't perfect, there are still pathways to home ownership. I have a trusted lender, so I'm happy to connect you with. Reach out today and let's get you started. Happy house hunting. God bless. Have a fantastic, wonderful week.